Hey, I'm JC Frias. I'm from Texas, living in Utah, with my partner of three years and our pets. I love hosting dinner parties and gatherings, and enjoy making everything look adorable in my home. Join me on learning some tips of doing it yourself and being creative. Hey you guys, it's JC here. So I'm really excited about all this Halloween decor that I got going on. It's not all over my house, but it's in like different parts of my home. Um, if you ask Brian, he'd probably say it's all over the house, but it really isn't. Um, but I just like to, with my holidays, just depending on them, um, I like to get that holiday spirit throughout the home. Um, come Christmas, my house is going to explode. It's like the North Pole in here. So, but I love Christmas. It's so much fun. Anyways, we're on Halloween, so who cares? And thanks for watching this video. It is a apartment home tour video of my Halloween decor and just gonna show you guys around. Also in this video, I'll show you guys some tips or some ideas of what you can do that's super easy and not too hard, you know? It's, I'm gonna divide this video in two parts just because I don't want it to be too long and you guys to get too bored throughout the whole video. So I'll do two parts and then you guys can see like my outside and then my inside. And so yeah, anyways. Hey you guys, I'm so stoked. I'm finally being able to share my Halloween decor with y'all. I'm totally in love with it, but then again, I created it, so I'm a little biased. Anyways, <laughs> this is the final product that is in front of my home. I bought these bells of straw as my props to give my decor some height. And the fun thing is I will be able to use them in my fall decor. I am super happy how my burlap banner tied in with all my Halloween decor. And if you guys see the top pumpkin on that bell of straw, has my address number on it, which helps personalize my decor. I'm not a huge fan of generic or cheesy decor. I like to make everything feel homey and personal and just feel like JC made that or it's JC's home. So if you guys have watched my Halloween decor haul video, I had ordered a Mr. Bone skeleton from Pottery Barn, which never came in. Can you believe that? So, thanks to a viewer of mine, I went to Walgreens and bought one of their skeletons, which was a lot cheaper and I'm super happy with. I wanted to make my skeleton look like a witch that had died in front of her home, so I made her this cute hat with lace webbing and added some feathers and some um, dry moss. And I also made this cape of hers. I think she looks fantastic. And the black in her cape and in her hat helped tie in everything else, like the crows and that chevron pumpkin and the banner that's right behind her. So this is my little witch. And also, if you see, I made this little spell book, which is so freaking awesome. I've gotten a lot of compliments from it. And I put it in her hands. So she's hugging it. And she's going to cast a spell if she comes alive. Alright, so moving on, I added pumpkins to my decor, but not just any pumpkins. I think you want them all to be unique and be able to stand on their own. I mean, that's the fun thing about Halloween is everything is so different and fun from everyday life. So I added this princess pumpkin on the bottom that is still changing colors, put some spiders on them, and I also added white pumpkins and put Mod Podge lace to them, which makes them stand out and look different and unique and super cute and no one's gonna have the same pumpkin as you and then I scattered all these little white pumpkins around and added some webbing and also added um, this other orange pumpkin with just a slight chevron pattern but nothing too crazy and then after that to keep going with the same witch's theme I put this broom that I made with some leaves so it looks like an abandoned porch and on this bale of straw or hay or whatever it is, I put webs and glittered spiders. And then on top again, the chevron pumpkins with the crows. I think the other thing is when you're decorating or setting something up, you want to make sure that you cascade your look and that it is not all one level and that your eye is able to go from top to bottom. So to finish my entryway um, decor, this is my door. I got these bats at Michael's last year. They were a Martha Stewart collection. 
And then my wreath is actually a picture frame that I got a at a consignment store. I know it's not your usual wreath, but I am in love with it. It was already this color, so I added some webs and some spiders. And then I cut out some cardboard and made this witch silhouette, which isn't the best looking one, but I think it works. And then I went ahead and added this crow with this moss and this skull, so it looks like it made its nest here. And the way I did that is I cut a piece of cardboard, painted it white, and then hot glued it on the rim of the frame, so it looks like it laid its nest there. And so yeah, this is my door in all of its glory. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it's a lot of fun. Maybe this video is a little too late. If you guys have any comments or questions or anything, just let me know and I'm more than happy to help you out or answer any questions or any of that. So yeah. So once again, thanks for watching my video. Leave any comments or questions or anything in the post below. And um, don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check me out on Facebook. I do have a page where I post like crafts and things that I do. And I don't always have time to make videos. And so I do put like photos and stuff of what's going on. So like my video if you like it. And if you don't, remember, just keep on going. Don't worry about it.